I think this is one of the strongest winds we've ever encountered. It's like nearly undrivable. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 71 on our round the world trip. So we are here near Foam Asaka on the Atlantic coast of Morocco and we just had a camp right next to the ocean, just off the beach. In this small village here. <laughs> it's okay, we spoke to a couple of people last night around and uh, they said it was absolutely fine to just camp here in this spot here next to the beach and they all seemed really chilled, super cool and they were just doing some fishing and it was all nice. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are right down at the bottom here at Form Asaka. And today we are going to be heading over to Gilmim and then making our way down the Route Nationale 1 past the edge of the map and as far as we can go. So basically the mission now is to head south. South, 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 we have 1,500 miles to reach Dakar, to reach a shipping container where Bumblebee is gonna be shipped to Rio de Janeiro. So we have a long way to go. So we don't really know where we end up tonight. We will just try and see how far we can get. Uh, it's already 8.20, so better hit the road, let's go. Goodbye Atlantic Ocean. It's a nice and cool morning. It's like 19 degrees, this is unbelievable. So Lavi's just walked up a little bit. I'm gonna go and pick her up. And then we've got a little bit of bumpy dirt road to get back to the main road. But then we're on our way. Hit the road. Day 71, let's go. And try and stay on this side. <laughs> Just gonna stand up a little bit. Oh good. So there's the house of the military post checking for contraband coming up the coast and there's there's one of their guard dogs uh oh uh oh <laughs> gotta get away from that yeah it's a little bit of a bumpy road from here to the main road just trying to avoid the biggest the biggest and sharpest of the rocks. What a beautiful way to start the day. Look at this landscape. Back on the road. Here we go. Some sheep this morning on the road and some goats. Hello guys. Good morning. car didn't give me too much space <laughs> oh my god oh that's the guardian dog for the herd oh my god that's something we always have to look out for is that there's a lot of herds out here that have like a dog or two dogs that are actually living with them to guard them 
so you really don't want to go and stroke them and don't want to mess with them so we're heading over now to Golmim which is a town a little bit further inland and uh, that should take us to the Route Nationale 1 that's the name of the highway that basically runs all the way down the coast as far as you can go pretty much until we reach the border of Mauritania so as soon as we hit that highway it's just like straight 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 for like I don't know 800 miles I mean, this is really cool. I've never, we, we didn't see like this scale of cactus farming before, hey? That's amazing. Four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine point nine five thousand. So we're just stopping here for a little break in Gulmim. We've arrived here in town. Bought some fresh bread. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're going to be hitting the Route Nationale from Gilmeen, heading south. Good day. Nice fresh bread, hey? The best 20 cents spent today. <laughs> so we've fueled up, we've refreshed in Gilmeen, and now we've hit the Route Nationale 1. It's pretty much straight on this road no turns so now it's just a, a game of making distance so our next stop is going to be Tan Tan which is in about 77 miles and uh, there we're going to stop for our lunch break so let's go Look at this vast open landscape in front. Desert 
to a town. It looks like we're coming into Tan Tan now after 109 miles on the road already. And then suddenly in the middle of this uh, pretty barren wasteland, there's a roundabout with two giant camel sculptures. <laughs> wow, nice, look at this. Awesome. And then I think here's the, the Gendarmery, the police coming into the town. Oh. Bonjour, hello. Bonjour, ça va? Ouais, ça va. Uh, I'm petit peu. I'm petit peu. Destination. Continuing south towards Layoun. Layoun. Yes, 195 miles. <laughs> yeah. um, merci. Wow, I was surprised. That was the first time we've ever been stopped by the police. Normally they just wave us through, but uh, yeah, he just asked us the destination. <laughs> oh yes. So we had a, a nice, nice lunch there at this petrol station slash roadhouse truck stop. We had a couple of coffees. We had uh, some eggs and a Moroccan salad. So that was a good rest stop before we head back out into the desert. So we also checked on iOverlander for a spot where we might be able to pitch our tent tonight. Um, and we found one place, or Lavi found one place, which uh, is 70 miles away. A guy has inputted it and he said that it's actually in front of a police station. And he went and asked the police and they said it was absolutely fine for him to camp there next to the ocean in front of the police station. <laughs> just left Tan Tan and this really looks like a wasteland in front just a massive expanse look at that I don't know if I've ever seen a view in my whole life as big as this and it is super super windy here I mean I don't know if you can see the angle of the bike at the moment but this wind is just smashing us from this side as the wind blows in from the coast Wow I think this is one of the strongest winds we've ever encountered. This is like, it's like nearly undrivable. I'm not even going fast. I'm going like just over 50 miles an hour. Oh my God. You can see the massive drop off of the cliffs just there. Whoa. What a spot, hey? <laughs> Whoa. The perfect place for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right down to the beach now. Cool. Look at that. I think it's another police or military control here. They might wave us past anyway. Bonjour, hello. Oui, ça va. Salut. Axenir. Passeport. Oui, oui. Ok, bon route. Merci, merci. Yeah, so that's police stop number two of the day. 
but uh, this time they actually wanted to see our documentation so that's actually the first time that's happened since we've been here so it looks like security starts to heat up the further south that you get and then they asked where we were gonna sleep tonight and we we said in this town in 11 miles at Thanir, and they sort of were like um uh, in a hotel and we were like we didn't want to tell them that we were actually going to ask to camp behind the police station <laughs> and they might be the police from that police station so we might see them later okay it looks like we're coming into Akfenir. Uh, it's not a very big place <laughs> it's really really small it's like just a cluster of buildings in the middle of nowhere on the edge of the coast so now we're heading for the Gendarmery Royale the police station situated in front of the ocean and if they're nice enough they will let us camp Gendarmery Royale wait c'est la place it's the place Awesome. Well, we just went inside, spoke to the guy inside, and he uh, pointed out that place just behind the police station and said, yep, just over by this red building. If you head over there and pitch up the tent, or this red building right here, he said it's no problem. So that is absolutely awesome. So we go round here. How's that? Nice. <laughs> Look over here. Woohoo! Look at this. There's like a whole beach here, tons of kids playing. Good evening, guys. We made it happy and alive. Whee! Yeah. We're here with our tent set up in the small town of Akfenir, right in front of woo, the Atlantic Ocean. Look at that. Pretty cool spot for tonight. <laughs> so it's awesome to be making progress down the coast, getting down there, making our way down to Dakar. But that wind today was absolutely crazy. Yeah, it was not very nice and comfortable being pushed from the wind always a little bit to the side. And I don't know, it's just really scary because it's like when you feel like, oh my God, okay. Yeah, it was definitely a big challenge to have to always be battling that hour after hour. So let's hope that that doesn't continue all the way down the coast. So we ended up doing 170 miles, which is about 270 kilometers. We will try to push it a little bit further tomorrow. So fingers crossed <laughs> for the wind. But yeah, that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family and comment below. We will see you next time. Yeah.